hi everybody you're welcome back to my channel once again this is Johnny keys coming at you my name is Johnson and uh, I had a request to break down a song from um, Wafas Mani and the title is Majinkwa we're going to be in a key of C major all right now I'm going to show you the right hand and then I'll show you the left hand all right so uh, before I get into it if you're new to the channel um, you can become a part of us just by clicking on the subscribe button right below the video make sure you click on the bell icon and select all when you do that YouTube will notify you anytime I post a new video let's get into it so this song is um, I don't know the words but first chord to the song is this so we have C E and G okay and then the next chord we're going to add another note to the uh, notes we already have so we're going to add a B flat to it okay so we have B flat C um, uh, E and G but because of what we'll be doing in the left hand you can take the C out when you do the second chord so you can do you get it so now I'm doing B flat G I'm sorry B flat E and G this is because of what we will do in the left hand okay so one first chord second chord now our third chord is going to be um, uh, an F major I have a I have C and I have F okay so I have okay um, then from here we're going to do this okay let's do this then I'll show you something so I have G B uh, D and F but because of what we will be doing in the left hand you can do just this okay so when you do it like I had a, a, a question from one of my online students which relates to something like this um, so you can do this or you can do this so let's look at what we are doing in the right hand total chord so we have Right, this is the first option. The second option goes like this. I took the C out and I took the G out. So this is the second option. Now, if you're wondering where the sha da 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 is coming from, it's actually coming from a scale, right? It's coming from the blue scale. Now you can do um that is um let's see. Right, I teach, I break all of these down in my piano course, right? So if you want to understand how to use skills over chords, then uh, I'll encourage you to enroll in my piano course. Before we get to the left hand, let me uh, show you how uh, my piano course, you know, goes. So it comes in two different folds. I have one which is pre-recorded videos where you get the lessons right after making payment and then the other one is one-on-one -on -one where I meet you on Zoom. I meet you two times um, on Zoom, right? So I have one-on-one -on -one and then pre-recorded videos. With the pre-recorded videos, you can move with your, with your own pace. You can take the lessons at any time but with a Zoom, we have to schedule and then um, um, have the lessons. So if somebody is taking the pre-recorded videos, he's likely to be ahead of the one who is taking the one-on-one. -on -one. So in the left hand, you're going to do this. So I have C, right? This will correspond to the first chord uh, that we did. So we have, and then the second chord. The good thing is we are going to still stay on the C. So we have boom and boom. Okay. Then we move to the F. So left hand we do F, and then our next note, uh, our next bass note is going to be the G. Okay, so this is why I said you you can take the G out because that will be this. It will be like we are doubling the notes, right? So so in the uh, left hand we have. And 
this is going to be pretty much the whole song, right? Um, and if you want to do more, of course, there are so many things that you can incorporate. And I teach that in my piano course, right? So in my piano course, um, we have beginners have their share, intermediate, semi, advanced students. So it's basically for everybody. So if you think you want to take your playing to the next level, then my piano course is for you.